have been doing a lot of thrift shopping online lately and I'm so excited to show you guys the things that I got. We haven't had any online thrift shopping stores in Australia up until recently. They just did not exist. The only way that you could get things secondhand was like Depop or eBay or the Facebook Marketplace. But none of our charity stores were available online. But we went into this huge lockdown and we were all stuck at home for a very long time and the charity stores still needed to be making money for their charities. Uh, if you are in America and your charity stores are more intended to be selling clothing to low income families and you shouldn't be shopping there if you're able to afford other things because you're taking those items from the people that are less fortunate than you, that's not how it works here. All of our charity stores, they aim to raise as much money for charity as they can. So you'll find pieces of clothing that are 20, 30, 40, $50, $200. I bought a $200 coat from Salvos and I love it. But the reason that they price things like that is because 100% of their profits go to feeding the homeless, sheltering them, providing them with housing and medical care and things like that. So it's a little bit different. So I've had a few people call me a terrible person for shopping at a charity store because I can afford to shop elsewhere. That's maybe the mentality in your country, but here I would much rather spend $200 on a coat at the Salvos than spend $200 on a coat in a new shop because my $200, my whole $200 is going to feed the homeless. So that's how it works here in case you didn't know. And I'm really sad to hear that it doesn't work like that in some other places. Our charity stores still provide clothing for disadvantaged people, but they usually set that stuff aside and they just give it to those people directly. They don't make disadvantaged people come in and pay $2, $5 for clothing. They just give that clothing to the people because it was given to them. They don't make a profit. They give all of their money to the homeless. So with that, I'm very excited to show you guys some of these things that I bought. Now there's a mix of things here. There's things that are for me. There's things that are for my friends. There's things that I bought purely because I thought that looks incredible. And I think that one of my subscribers might like it. And something that I'm really interested in doing going forward after I've done my Depop charity drop, which is out now, now, what time is it? Well, when you're watching this, it's probably 2 a.m. or so in Australia, which means my Depop store just went live. So the things that are available there right now, all the money from that is going to charity. I'm not keeping any of the money. If I paid $100 for something, I'm not taking my $100 back or anything like that. 100% of everything is just going straight to charity. But going into next year, I'm really interested in acquiring clothing, vintage and secondhand, that doesn't suit me but I know someone out there is gonna love it and then listing it on Depop. Now there's a lot of controversy as far as buying and reselling secondhand items. What I'd be thinking of doing would be, let's say I go into a charity store and I find a skirt in a size 18, for example, and it's really cute. And I know one of my subscribers will love it. I pay $10 for it. I would then be thinking of listing it on my Depop for what I bought it for. So I do have some things here that I've specifically bought because I think someone out there will really like it. A lot of my international subscribers say to me, oh my God, Alex, the thrift stores in Australia are incredible. The thrift stores in my country are awful. So I really like the idea that I can bring some of these amazing things from Australia to you guys overseas that may not be able to get them. I often hear people say in my comment section that pastel clothing is very hard to find in plus size. I find a lot of it in Australia. I mean, like when I am browsing on the Salvo's website, I'm seeing like size 18, size 22, adorable pink pastel rainbow dresses. It exists here. Don't know why it doesn't exist in thrift stores overseas. I have a feeling it's something to do with the fact that the charity stores in other countries, if they're just selling items that are for low income families, they're selling more like staple kind of things. But here, because our charity stores are intended to make as much money for charity as possible, you do find things that are brand new with tags that may have been $200 brand new and our charity store is selling it for 50, for example. You find a lot more stuff like that. I really like the idea of being able to accumulate a really nice curation of pastel clothing and then list it for you guys to be able to buy. And then so that I'm not out of pocket, I'm just getting back what I paid for it. And if I have to hire someone to help me, you know, like hire someone to keep track of the listings and drop things to the post office and to keep track of the, you know, tracking numbers and to be messaging people to update them on their orders and all that sort of thing, I would want to be able to pay them. So it's a little bit of a kind of difficult thing and I would love to hear your opinions but yeah tell me what you think about a pretty pastel curation of thrifted items but with that let's have a look at what's in our first parcel. Okay so this is a sweater 
that's from H&M. I paid $13 for this. It's made of mostly polyester and acrylic, but it does have a percentage of wool, so it's very soft. It is a little bit weird how it's got this seam running right down the center, and it is a bit of a strange fit for something that's a size extra small. The listing of this one said, reduced! <laughs> with exclamation marks. When you see things on the website that say reduced, it means that they have not been able to sell it. So they will often list stuff on the Salvo's website. Let's say they list it for $25 and it just sits there and it doesn't get sold. It looks as though they kind of wait a couple of weeks and if it still hasn't sold after a couple of weeks, they reduce the price. So this one was actually a real steal for $13. I got this as part of a video that I'm doing where it's a $500 H&M haul, but all of it is thrifted. I went on the Salvo's website, I typed in H&M, and I took a couple of weeks because things get listed every single day. There's 50,000 items on the Salvo's website, which is a very sobering reminder of just how much clothing there is out in the world. My friend Lucy posted an H&M haul recently, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna do an H&M haul. Now there will be people that'll leave comments and say, your secondhand H&M video is useless to me because I can't buy those things. But then there'll also be people that will take my secondhand H&M video as a review of the brand itself and the quality of the items. Here's me wearing a wool piece from H&M. It's acrylic polyester and wool. And even though you might not be able to get this exact one if you like the look of it, it may make you consider, oh, well, Alex really liked that woolen jumper from H&M. So I'll check out what jumpers they have available on H&M. And you might be able to get something knowing that I really quite like this. I really like the quality. I think it's a very nice thick piece. And if all their pieces are like this from their sort of wool winter collection. I would definitely say duck by H&M and have a look. I do have very sensitive skin though, and sometimes wool can make me a little bit itchy. This is sort of irritating me ever so slightly, but normally what happens for me, I'll put something on that's a bit irritating, and after about 10 minutes of wearing it, my body just tunes out and I don't notice how irritating it is anymore. It's a bit like how my husband just listens to me blab on and he just eventually tunes out and he's just not listening anymore. It's like that. My body's just like, uh-huh, yeah, oh, it's itchy, yep. All right, sweetie. All right, next. I'm gonna try and open these carefully so that I can reuse these shipping bags. All right, this is cool. From the brand Guess. I'm doing a video about thrifting Y2K fashion and you guys know that really iconic photo of um, JT and Britney and they're both wearing denim. Guess was like the it brand in the 2000s and it was all very expensive when it was brand new. I remember when I was in year 10 at school, Guess was one of those brands that was expensive enough for all of us to think it was like a luxury designer brand, but also it wasn't so far out of reach that it was completely unattainable. I would wait for the Boxing Day sales. I don't know if they have Boxing Day sales overseas, but essentially it's like after Christmas, things go on sale. Like things that didn't get sold in the lead up to Christmas, they slash the prices of everything for like, like one day, basically. It's like one day, it's just mayhem and you go to the shops and everything's half price and pit clothes are flying, appliances are being yeeted across the room. I used to go to the guest store up at Castle Towers and I would line up in the morning and I'd be thinking about a $200 bag or like a $200 pair of jeans and I'd know I can go in and I can get it for $50 today and I would get my guest stuff and then I wouldn't get anything for like three years after that. I can only imagine how much this would have cost back in the day. This with a red lipstick and a pair of red pumps. Oh, I'm so excited for that video, my Y2K video. <laughs> this one, I got this as part of my thrifting for plus size clothing video. I've bought a whole bunch of stuff for Caitlyn and she's not gonna wanna keep hardly any of it because her style is very different to mine, but it's a bit of fun. It's like a style swap challenge. We have a few friends that would fit this size. So I'm gonna let all of them look through the things after Caitlyn and I have filmed the video. And if they want any of it, they can have it. This is brand new with tags. It's called the, plus sash neck ruffle wrap skater dress. In the images, they actually paired this with a gorgeous gold belt and I really, really hoped that the belt would come with it, but it was separate and that belt was long sold, which made me very sad because now I'm keeping an eye out for chunky chain gold belts. I have it on my wish list. Every so often when I'm searching online on thrift stores and stuff, I type in gold belt and I have a browse through and I'm just holding out one day. One day I will find a big chunky gold chain belt. But the color of this is absolutely beautiful and Boohoo I find is very hit or miss. Last year during Christmas, I got an amazing Boohoo dress that I wore almost all year and the quality was great. But then I've done videos where I've done a Boohoo haul and half the stuff was so terrible, it was not even able to be worn, it was so bad. If you like the look of this dress and you wanna keep an eye out for it online, it's the plus sash neck ruffle wrap skater dress. So keep an eye on it, keep searching Depop and Google and you may find it one day. It's a UK 16, European 44 and US size 12. Look how lovely it is. 
I'm gonna try and convince Caitlin to come over tonight so that I can show her some of these things that I got her in her size. I think she will like that, I really do. I think that she'll wanna keep that one. Who wouldn't? Caitlin, Caitlin wouldn't. She has very, very specific taste, but it's green and she loves green. She might wanna keep it. Oh, how nice is this? Look at the color of this. <gasps> I have to put this on. This is from an Australian brand called Bardo. Bardo makes really nice clothing. I remember when I was younger, my mom and I would walk past Bardo and we'd look in and we'd go and look at like a $80 dress and mom would say, oh, it's really beautiful. Maybe for Christmas, maybe you can have it for Christmas. And like I, I owned maybe two, no, not even maybe one thing from Bardo in my life. It's purposefully very, very open at the front, which I believe is like that so that you could maybe wear like a cami or something underneath, maybe like a white cami. I think this would be really nice tied at the front or like tucked into a skirt. It's got a slit in the side of it, which normally makes me think that you leave the back part out and you have the front part tucked into something. Yeah, I have a feeling it's probably supposed to be worn like this. I didn't realize it was that plunging. Like I knew it was plunging, but I didn't quite grasp the concept of just how plunging it was based on the pictures. <laughs> the color is absolutely amazing. And I'm going to be using this as part of a thrifting for pastel clothing haul. So you guys will see how I style it in that video. I can't remember this. Oh, this is part of my H&M haul. These are gloves. Look, they're brand new. It says genuine leather from H&M. They were $12. Brand new, never worn. Now, I'm not really one to wear black gloves, but when I saw them on the website, oh, wow. Oh my goodness. Oh, these feel nice. These are lined. They're lined with like a very, very soft fabric. What is it? Lining 100% acrylic. It feels so lovely. Wow. Yeah, before I decided if I was gonna buy these or not, I thought, how would I wear them? And I came across some really nice pictures of people wearing black gloves with coats and various nice outfits for winter. I haven't worn gloves for a very long time because I haven't been anywhere that's super, super cold for a long time. But now that we're slowly able to start traveling again, if I go somewhere during winter, I will definitely take these with me. They're really nice. They've got this sort of interesting detail on there. They're so comfortable. I really wonder what the story is with these. You know, like, how did these end up in a secondhand store? They, they've got a tag on them. Is it the sort of thing where maybe someone's mum bought them for them for Christmas or for their birthday? And they were like, oh, yeah, I've got you these gloves for your birthday. And they're like, oh, thanks, mum. I'm not going to wear those. And then they've donated them. I'm always interested in the story behind donations. All right, this, oh my God, this is the, the steal of the century. Literally the, the find of the year. I paid $3 for these earrings. You wanna know why that's exciting? I've had these in my shopping cart on the Iconic for many months and I never bought them. Aren't they so nice? These are part of a Christmas gift giving guide video that I'm posting where I got a notification from the Iconic app. The Iconic is an Australian like designer website and they had this Christmas gift giving guide and I was looking through it thinking I can probably thrift half of this stuff and I spotted the gold earrings that I've had my eye on on the Iconic and I remembered that a few days earlier I had spotted these on Salvos. Now when they were originally listed on Salvos they were $20 and no one bought them and they reduced them down to three. So yeah my challenge was basically trying to thrift gift giving guide items and so far I've found just about every single thing from the gift giving guide, but I've got it all secondhand. But it's not really secondhand because the majority of it all is brand new with tags. So I'm really, really excited about that video. But these earrings, I'm gonna get Sam to give them a clean for me. Oh, I'm so excited. This is ridiculous. So this is part of a video I'm doing where I'm thrifting vintage items. This is a vintage handbag by the brand Shilton. How do I open it? Can someone donate this? Cause it's stuck closed. It's white leather. It's very slim line. It's got gold detailing around the edges. And to open it, you pull this little thing up. You like pull upwards on it and it pops open. It's called Japelle, J-A-P-E-L-L-E -L -L -E, by Shilton. And it says on the inside, there's a little sticker in there that says inspected by number seven. Who is number seven? Look at this little chain. Oh, this is made so nicely. Oh my goodness. Is that not... Splendid. <laughs> it actually looks quite nice with the top I'm wearing too. I'm ridiculously excited about this vintage video. The things that I have found are insane. This was $10. Ah, now this is for my friend Grace. This is from the brand Dangerfield. Dangerfield is quite expensive. It's one of those stores that when I was younger and I, the only place that there was a Dangerfield was in Sydney CBD. And anytime 
that I was in the CBD, which was very, very rarely, maybe like once a year or something, I would make a beeline for the Dangerfield store because it was so cool. They had such interesting, nice clothing, but it was always so expensive that I never bought anything. I bought one dress. I bought that dress. That's the only thing I've ever bought new from Dangerfield. And it was like a uh, hundred dollars or something. Grace loves graphic shirts. She loves them. She wears graphic shirts and cargo pants and Doc Martens and Converse. She has a very specific style and she's going to love this. <laughs> the print, there's a tiger, a lady, a pineapple, a toucan, a butterfly, there's flowers, a black panther wearing boxing gloves. <laughs> Grace is gonna flip. <gasps> yes. This, this is brand new with tags. They were $110 when they were new. They are still new. They're still brand new. They've never been worn. I got them for 30. I don't know what they're gonna look like on because they're short. They're not full length jeans. Like they're, they're cropped jeans. So I think that you're supposed to kind of style these with a, a cute pair of high heels and it's supposed to be showing your ankles. And I normally like my jeans to go all the way to the ground, but I'm open to trying a new style. And if I don't like them, and if I think the style looks really silly on me, I can pass them on to one of you guys. They come with a belt. They've got big buttons down here. I'll take off the jeans that I'm wearing, which are another thrift find. These are the brand Ganda, which I had never heard of before. And it's another one where I was like, Ganda, what's that? And I Googled it and their website was amazing. They have such cool things. These are also brand new with tags. Ah, all right. Can you guys see? Hmm. I like these. Oh, these are so cool. Look at where they come up to on my waist. High waisted, they've got like a frayed edge on the waistline. The buttons are a little bit awkward to get undone, but now that I'm in it, I feel very cozy. They look so nice with this top. This color combination, like mint and white, so good. Oh, in the white bag, yes. Look at this, look at this. <laughs> I'm really, really, really happy. This makes me so much happier than jumping on ASOS and buying something like this. I think if you can find an item from a company secondhand first before you actually buy from that company, you know, test it out. Cause that way, if you buy it and you don't like it, you didn't have to fork out the full amount kind of thing. These are so nice. $30 I paid for them. Jeez. Oh my God. Now this is really funny to me because these are brand new with tags. House of CB biker shorts. You guys know I love House of CB. And I had actually searched on the Salvos website for House of CB. I typed in House of CB, no results. Now I was just browsing at one point, just looking at all the items. And this one said House of London, women's high waist. And I was like, House of London, what's that brand? And I clicked into the listing. And sure enough, they're from House of CB. Look, they're brand new. They've got this, thing, which is the, you know, don't cut this if you want to return it thing. They're my size. Look, tags. This is called the silver black biker shorts. Now I did Google that before I paid for these. I Googled House of CB silver shorts to see what they looked like on other people. And it was very polarizing. Some people, I loved them on them. Other people, I was like, those are hideous shorts. And I think it's all down to the styling. So I'm interested in challenging myself. All right interesting. I don't mind them. They're an agreeable length for me. I hate short shorts. This is a really nice length. I like where they sit and I love where the waist sits. That's so nice. The main thing for me will be how am I going to style them? <laughs> I showed you guys this Oriton jacket that I got the other day. Thrifted this. There you go. Something like this, right? Like where the <laughs> leather on leather. Oh, I, I actually like them. I really didn't think I would but I like them so much. They're really, really comfortable. They're kind of bunching up funny. Oh, look, little handwritten note. Thank you from the team at Clyde North Salvos. All right, this is a Zara denim top that I got as part of a $500 thrifted Zara haul. I paid $17 for this. This is probably going to look really, really silly over what I'm wearing, but we'll give it a go. This is old, like it looks really old. Someone's worn it for a long time, which is great with denim because it's gone really soft. The tag says Zara Traffaluck? Traffaluck. Traffaluck to me sounds a bit like Snuffleupagus. Like it sounds like a made up animal. <laughs> this is very small. Like it's a teeny, teeny, tiny little thing. Maybe if I take my hair out, 
Sorry for looking ridiculous, by the way. When you're filming and editing and uploading a video every single day for an entire month, it gets very tiring trying to look nice. <laughs> look, my hair is still wavy from the video I uploaded yesterday. <laughs> so yes, this little thing is part of a Zara thrifted haul. This feels like true denim. There's no stretch in it at all, but because it's very, very worn in, it's very soft. $17 for that. I don't know how much something like this would be new from Zara, but I think $17 is pretty reasonable for something like this. All right, and the last parcel that I have in this room, but I did hear the doorbell ring before, and there's probably some more parcels for me downstairs, so I'll go get them. Oh, yes! This is also for the Zara video. This is a blazer that's made in Morocco from Zara. Ah. Oh. Look! So this is from Zara Men. It's from the men's section, but it's a very small size and I really like it. I mean, I know it doesn't look right with these shorts, but this is amazing. Look, it's even got like pads on the elbows. It's funny because on the listing it said ladies Zara brown dinner jacket, but on the tag itself on the garment, it says that it's men's. And this, this is so cute. This is also for the Zara video. This was $18. It's a very silky smooth little blouse. All right, I know that it doesn't look right with these shorts, so I'm actually gonna go grab another parcel from downstairs that might have some pants in it. But this is so cute. I feel like it's, it's a little bit small. It's a size extra small, and I have a feeling that in Zara sizing, I am not an extra small. I normally buy extra small in other brands, but Zara sizing, that's an extra small, and this is extra small, and it feels too small. So I'm gonna duck downstairs and bring up a couple more parcels. You know, I was just thinking about something. Someone left a comment and said, they're not enjoying Christmas anywhere near as much this year because I'm purchasing things online, and I'm not actually physically going to thrift stores. I will happily go to a physical thrift store when I'm looking for things like vases or furniture or home decor, Christmas decorations, bulkier items, but going to a secondhand store, <laughs> and seeing a thousand, two thousand pieces of clothing on racks and knowing that there's something good on that rack in your size, but having to flick through thing after thing after thing after thing, pull it out, nope, thing after thing, that's nice, not my size, keep going, keep going, keep, that's nice, nope, doesn't fit. It's really tiring and it is fun in some regards, but sometimes you can end up buying things because, have you, do you know that like, time sunk fallacy. Have you ever heard about that? Where it's like, you've invested a lot of time in something and even though it's not working out for you, you push ahead because you don't want the time that you have sunk into it to be wasted. Sometimes when people go to secondhand stores, you might go thinking, I'm looking for a black top. And maybe you might go to like three thrift stores or something looking for it. And you pick out every single top from the aisle and nothing is exactly what you had in mind, but you just grab one anyway because you've been looking all day and you really need a black top. So you just grab one and then maybe you're not that happy with it and you don't really like it, but you got it because it's all they had. Buying the stuff online, no, you don't get to try it on, but you can actually sort on the website, categorize it by your size. On the Salvo's website, there's filters. You can put in a size small, size extra small. You can put in color black. You can put in brands. You can literally, if you wanted to find something that was Zara, you, there's an option to pick Zara and it'll show you all 400 items that they have available that are Zara. I would have to go to a hundred thrift stores over the course of a year to find half of this stuff. I got that Oriton coat. I couldn't just duck down to the Vinnies down the road and find an Oriton coat, but I can go on the website and type Oriton into the search bar and find it. I understand that some people aren't enjoying this content as much because it's not out and about, but I'm making far better choices this year, far more curated and styled choices than I was making last year. And for people that have said things like, oh, I don't like this year because you're not doing that. It, it doesn't mean I'm not gonna do that. I am gonna go out and about. So if you don't like these videos where I'm just sitting at home showing you things, well, check back on another day and there will be a video where I'm going out and about. But I've had far more success doing it this way, shopping online, than I've had in store. I can't buy vases and lamps and things like that online. So I'm definitely going out for home decor and all that sort of thing. But as far as clothing goes, I've had a far more enjoyable and far easier and far more rewarding thrifting experience looking at the stuff on the website and there's like over 50,000 items on their website. If that stuff doesn't get sold it'll end up in landfill so no it might not be as fun but check out the website you'll find some amazing things. You can sort by price lowest to highest and you can get clothing for a dollar. It's amazing. So this I have a feeling is something I ordered 
for last week. We went out to a themed restaurant. We went to a Viking themed restaurant and there's the option when you buy on Salvos to get standard shipping or express shipping. And I had picked something with express shipping at the start of that week, which meant it should have arrived in time for me to go to the restaurant with it, but it didn't arrive. And it's just turned up now, like over two weeks later. And I paid more for express shipping. That's not the Salvo's fault. That's the fault of Australia Post. Yep, this is, this is the one. I have no idea what this is gonna be like because the pictures on the listing didn't show the full length. I don't know if it's long. I don't know if it's a mini dress. I just know I really liked the top of it. Oh, it's not long. I'm so sad. <laughs> wow, it's nice though. This is the brand Two Sisters. Oh my God, I love this. This is amazing. All I need is the waist to be made tighter and Caitlin might even be able to sew it for me. Look at the sleeves. Oh. I feel like a medieval goddess. This is amazing. This is so cool. It's so cool. This one was another one that was reduced because they couldn't sell it. Why couldn't they sell this? Who wouldn't want this? Cue you guys leaving comments, Alex, it's hideous. This with my new bag, this is so cool. Oh my God, is that? <gasps> pockets, pockets, it has pockets. Are you kidding me? Are you <laughs> This is the best dress. This is amazing. What the I win. I win. I win at what? Everything. This dress makes me a winner. I love it. This is actually part of this video. So when we went to the Viking restaurant, I did a haul of like clothes that you could wear to a, a Ren Fair or like Skyrim themed clothing, Viking themed clothing. A lot of it can also double as cottage core because a lot of the sleeve silhouettes of the Skyrim and Viking clothing that I picked out, a lot of the sleeves sort of also work with cottage core. You just have to replace like the brown linen with floral. So this is part of that like medieval style video that I'm doing. <laughs> oh my goodness. I never want to take this off. This is so incredible. Wow. This is one of my, I've found some amazing things and this is one of the best. Oh, this is another one that was on the website for a really, really, really long time. Every time I was searching through dresses, it kept popping up and they kept reducing the price over and over and over again and no one was buying it. This is by the brand Marks, you know, like the fashion offshoot of Marc Jacobs. I love the color of this and the silhouette on the mannequin looked glorious and I couldn't believe no one was buying it. This is one that I had sitting on my wish list because I was like, it's nice, but I don't know if I really want it. I don't know if I would fit. I don't know if I would wear it a huge amount because of the color, but when they reduced the price to $20, I was like, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it. And if I don't want it, Shelly or Grace or one of the other girls will definitely want it. <gasps> no, are you serious? What? <laughs> this one has pockets too. <laughs> it's my lucky day. I didn't know either of these things had pockets. Okay, Marks, a designer brand, a beautiful dress for $20 with pockets. See, the thing is that now for me in owning this, a dress with pockets, this will replace at least like five of my own dresses. I will be able to donate or give away at least five of the dresses that I have in my wardrobe because they're dresses that I like them. I like the silhouette. They're a similar length to this, but I don't wear them. I'm far more likely to wear something with pockets. It's so practical. It's a really lovely length. It's a beautiful standout kind of color. The silhouette is really pretty too. And I feel very secure up here. I don't feel like I'm going to sort of fall out of it or anything. So in owning this, I can now substitute a bunch of things for this one dress. And I can start to refine my wardrobe a little bit, start getting rid of things that I'm less likely to wear and replacing them with something that's made better, feels better, looks equally nice, if not nicer, and has pockets. Ah, oh, now this is a risky one. This is a tiger mist pant suit. It was $15. This is an extra large. And I got this because I like the brand tiger mist. It's an Australian brand. I knew that this was going to be good quality because they make good quality clothing. Tiger mist is actually a brand that I would have bought something from brand new in my pre YouTube days. Uh, when my friends got married, it was the first year that Dan and I were together. So seven years ago, it was the first wedding I went to as a guest. And I was like, what am I going to wear? Like, I don't have anything that's wedding appropriate. And I went to Maya, like a department store and I bought a tiger mist dress that was on sale and I got it for $60 and it was reduced from like 120 or something like that. Tiger mist makes really, really nice quality stuff. So I knew that this was going to be nice. It's not my size, but a tiger mist extra large is probably going to be maybe a 16, I 
think, a size 16. So this could fit multiple friends of mine, and if none of them want it, one of you guys might like to have it. It's a really unusual kind of thing. It's got these amazing, amazing long, look how long they are. Look at these pants. They're so long, long white flared pants that actually have a slit in the front of them so you can see your shoes. So you can take it as an opportunity to wear really nice shoes. All right, interesting. Pants, I have quite long legs. Look how long these pants are. They would need to be taken up uh, unless, oh, no, even wearing high heels, I think they would still drag on the ground. You know what's strange? So this is a, an extra large. But I'm a size six, so I'm an extra small, and I could actually wear this. Like, look, this, th I'll show you, that's how loose it is. Just, just that much. I feel like there's maybe a mistake on the size of this. This can't possibly be an extra large. This is really cool. You either have to be very, very tall to wear this, or you need to have it tailored. But also, I don't think that it would stretch massively. This one really confuses me. It was only $15. It's brand new. It doesn't have tags on it, but it is brand new. I think Caitlyn would look a million dollars in this. I really do. Okay, this is for Grace. This was $19. It's from Zara. And Grace is going to love it. Needs a good iron. But it's actually from some sort of limited edition collection that Zara did. And the way I found it, I googled Zara brown button-up shirt abstract print and I looked through all of the pictures on Google Images and I found this and it was from some artist collection. If Grace doesn't like it, I will gladly keep it. I would love this. I really like to wear brown. I think brown looks really nice on me and this is very soft. What's this made of? This is... You know what? Zara is surprising me. I haven't bought from Zara ever or if I have, I may have gone in and bought a couple of things on clearance like 10 years ago. <laughs> But I thought Zara was like Shein. I didn't realize that Zara was like this nice. It's 100% viscose. It's really thick and comfortable, but also airy and breathable. The print is really interesting too, very abstract. This is lovely, I just need to iron it. And the last parcel of the day. This, this was $25. It's from Zara again. It's a pastel pink suede biker jacket. Look at this. Look at it. $25. $25. That, this is amazing. This is so nice. I'm blown away by Zara. I will say this right off the bat. If you're looking for specific clothing and you're looking for a brand to shop from, I don't know how much this would have been new from Zara. That's the only thing I have no idea. I don't know how much things cost from Zara. But I would say go into a Zara and try to find the thing that you need. Because everything that I've taken out that I bought from Salvo's that was Zara branded. Everything's been really, really, really nice. I'm so confused. I don't know why I thought Zara was like a, a cheap brand. In my head, I was like, yes, Shein, Zara, Romwe, H&M, like they're all the same. I think I was severely mistaken. <laughs> this is incredible. Look, it's got zip up details on the sleeves. We've got a belt and the belt has like black lining, black trim, so it looks really cool. What a good way to end the video. I'm so happy. <laughs> so that's it for today. Um, I've been getting a lot of stuff thrifted online and I get a lot of deliveries and usually I just unbox them myself and then I've been hanging them up on the rack. So like everything on this rack behind me here and everything here, it's all part of Thriftmas. And I've just been collecting the stuff over the course of the past month for various videos. So like this, these are all designer items that I've thrifted and I unboxed all of them on my own because I figured, well, I'll wait until they're all here and then I'll film them. But today's video is a bit of an experiment. If you enjoyed this and if you want me to accumulate the parcels that I get sent and then do a sit down once a week where I open all of them up and show you guys my thrift finds of the week. If you want to see that, could you give me a thumbs up on this video, please? And also subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to hear your thoughts and feedback about the whole encouraging more thrift shopping on my channel, but also keeping a healthy amount of fast fashion for people that only have that sort of thing available to them so that I can continue to inform them and show them whether items are worth it or not. But yeah, I hope that you like this style of video because that was really, really fun for me just sitting down and just opening things and showing my first impression. Because the amount of times I've opened some of these things and I've been like, this is so cool. And I wasn't rolling or anything. I didn't have the camera on. It's just me alone being excited <laughs> about thrifted clothing. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. And uh, with that, 
Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah!